Last time on Up Close and Personal. All right, our minds are sitting there waiting for more enemy activity. Uh, I'm okay with that. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my gosh. Wow. Greetings and salutations. This is Ivan Dogovich, up close and personal with Let's Play Open XCOM 1.0. Oh my god, the 29th episode. Still in a base defense mission. I don't know how, how well we can do this. I'm picking up after a cut in the last recording, so we'll pick up the action here. All right. All right. Lots of fun. Oh, that was bad. Okay, that is the fourth and probably last, I hope, crosses fingers, cyber disc. Oh god, another one there. Snake does have a stun rod. We did have a cyber disc come this way. They may come that way. Oh my god. Alright, Snake. You are primarily placed to stun that thing. Oh my god. He survived three stuns. Wow. That wasn't so good. Random commander. Conehead. Humped. I'm thinking that a grenade might finish that guy off. He's taken a proxy and three stuns. So that is possible. Although I'm willing to just let him keep moving. Not there. Snake doesn't see him anymore. Okay, so he probably came this way. Ammo can? Not there. Not there. Okay. Bizman? Not there. Kind of checking all the rooms here. I think he came, he's in here somewhere. Uh, Bizman, while we're here, let's grab the rest of that stuff. It's important. Yeah, I know you're overweighted, but that's okay. Come back to there. Um, don't have enough time to prime that. Just double check that way. Okay. Keep looking there. Alright. Alright. Good, good turns. Good turns. I didn't see anything. I didn't realize you could open these by looking that way. Not seeing them there. Okay. Not seeing them here. Not seeing him here. It's possible he could have gone back that way, and sometimes they do. Not down the hallway. Um, and it's possible that he could be lurking in one of these corridors. No? Alright. Alright, um, give him another turn. Still not seeing anything. Milkster? Nope. Snake? No. Now you do have a grenade though. Interesting. I wouldn't mind getting that back in the corridor there. Toss that. One, two, three. Ooh. Good enough. Good there. Good. Uh, still nothing. Still nothing. Still nothing. Still nothing. God, guys, if we survive this... I mean, it's possible. It's possible that that cyber disc is the last foe that we face. 
we put a bunch of stuns on it and we've uh, it hit got hit with a proxy grenade I don't know that cyber discs can bleed out but bleeding is a thing the stun will slowly go down still not seeing anything Just keep looking everywhere open all the doors all right maybe that was a little more movement than last time Huh. Not sure where he went. Okay. Oh my god. 27 minutes into this episode. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a cut into it until we get to the action the next thing i'm just going to keep checking the doors and uh wait for enemy activity but i cut into it i'll be back in a bit okay it's turn 45 and we just had our proxy grenade go off here and we've got the cyber disc there hopefully that's not cyber disc number five hopefully that's still cyber disc number four that's been stunned and proxied twice uh, I'm not holding out a whole lot of hope for dealing with this guy. Um, we've got a weak soldier with high explosives. Another weak soldier. Uh, another weak soldier. Um, one with decent accuracy, or decent, uh, strength. And, um, high explosives. So, um, yeah, not looking too good there, not looking too good team. Okay, um, I'm just gonna give him another turn. Oh no, he entered the room where Conehead was. Oh no, Soft Pillow panicked! Don't run in there. Okay, so you didn't get shot on your reaction fire. Random, who's got a stun rod? We may be able to kill this guy. The soft pillow, you dropped the uh, explosives. Snake. If I step out here and throw that up there. Well. Is yours just not primed? Figures. Why would I prime the grenade? In fact. Go upstairs, please, and just survive. <laughs> Look at all the charred area of the base. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. That's just classic. Uh, da, 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 snake. Prime your grenade anyway, because an unprimed grenade is a grenade not well used. Dang it. Um, yeah, soft pillow probably has low bravery. They were our main line of defense. Okay, well, Milkster can come pick up a gun at least. Come over here, Milkster. Grab the gun. Grab the gun. Step out and shoot. I don't think you even hit. Snapshot it. I don't think you hit there either. That's sad. Yeah, I didn't think about them opening the double doors. Prime. I guess it's possible for you to maybe. Are you serious right now? Oh, you'd have 22 left. Let's see if we can throw this underneath that underneath that cyber disk. We did, and it didn't hurt it. Okay. Well. Unsung hero. Oh, you do have a pistol. You might as well go down. Go down facing them with snapshot pistol fire. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're out of time. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, so you don't have much of a chance here. Bizman. Let's prime your grenade. Um, if I could be sure of getting it tossed there. Yeah, we'd, we'd just. <sighs> Next turn. Unsung hero, one of our rookies has gone on to never be promoted. We're gonna have some troops pretty demoralized here. Okay, so that'll explode next turn. Soft pillows recovered. We've got a a grenade. All right, Milkster should see it take an aim shot at least. You're missing like crazy. Yeah, step back out of the way. That's not gonna work. Okay, you with your primed proxy get another proxy grenade blown up by it. All right. Uh, snake panicked, ammo can panicked, J Stank panicked, <laughs> Random Commander went berserk. Oh god. Yeah, so do we have anybody that's under control? Bizman, you've survived your morale hit. Alright, prime that. Don't see it. Milkster. Oh no. That's not good enough. Oh, and there's a heavy explosive there too. Well, <sighs> everybody's panicked. Snake dropped a grenade, so now he's dead. This man went berserk. Ammo can. Holy cats. I don't think anybody's going to survive all these morale hits. Yeah. So the... Aliens? What? Don't go that way? There's bad guys over there, Milkster. You don't have me see anybody in there. I didn't think you would. Random Commander? Welcome back. Grab the grenade at least. Yeah, sadness. Bizman, your uh, ammo can. Grab your grenade and pistol at least. Yep. So, it had come down there. Prime the grenade. Throw the grenade down to here. Okay. I don't know if it was still in there or not, but it was a worthwhile shot. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, Bizman. If he's gonna dance in here, we may be able to high explosive him out of there. Bizman, come over here. You've got a high explosive and it's primed. You, sir, are not such great shape. Where's your gear? Right there, maybe? No, that's the droid. You came running out of a room. Oh, I think your gear is over here. Okay. And you don't have anything. This man, look that way. Milkster, you're out of ammo and out of time. Random commander doesn't have anything.
Nice. Okay, so <laughs> Random Commander has him trapped down below just by looking hot. Random Commander, you keep looking hot. Keep scaring him. Okay. So with that said, we may have the opportunity to get in there and get them. Ammo can, grab that gun. Ammo can, come over here and scout for us. Bizman, can you get to here? You can, look that way, cool. Cool. You sir come in here, pick up your, oh, not something I wanna do, pick up your, no? Where's your gear? Cause you had a pistol. Um, uh, it was back here. That's what I meant. Yeah, pick up your pistol. When I'm of time, that's fine. Okay. All right, and you, milkster, reload. Um, I don't want you where there's double doors, so you can stay there for now. Next turn. This man panicked. Please don't drop your high explosive if you panic. Please don't. Don't do it. Alright, ammo can. Nothing there that you can use. Okay. Um... Milkster. There's a high explosive here. We should grab that. You may be our only other our only other hope. Yeah, God. Oh no. Oh no, I didn't mean to leave you out there. J Stank. Let's pick up this pistol. Um go this way. How come you can't go through there? Oh gosh. Oh yay. He's still dancing in there. Nice. Okay. Jay Stank. Ammo can. Don't panic. Uh, what's underneath you, Ammo can? Nothing. Nothing of import. J Stank. Anything here you can use? A knife. Oh, okay. Knife. Alright. Bizman. Primed grenade. Primed high explosive. Run to there. Throw to here. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! I can't believe we did it! I can't believe we did it! Oh my god! That was amazing! Oh my god, that was amazing! Wow! That was intense! Base is saved. Aliens killed, 13. Corpses recovered, 6. Alien artifacts recovered, 8. Alien uh, operatives killed, 11. Out of 15? Wow. Tanks destroyed, 1. Barely got a positive rating out of that. Uh, Milkster got a promotion. So we got... Oh, that's too bad that those that died didn't get posthumous awards. Interesting. Uh, Prowler Cross, Random Commander, Order of Earth, Random Commander, Defender Medal. All of our four survivors get a Defender Medal and Performance Citation. I want to thank you for joining me for episode 29 of Let's Play Open XCOM 1.0. I can't believe we survived. Oh my god. This is amazing. Feel free to sign up to have a soldier named after you. It's been awesome to... Uh, fight this tooth and nail this is epic this this one's going down epic i can't believe it <sighs> merit star 
we may demonstrate to the enemy the unacceptable cost of his struggle by invading his territory, conducting operations to increase his suffering, or by wearing down the enemy. Clausewitz. This award is given to a soldier who has proven their lethality and killed many enemies. Eligibility for the award starts at 10 kills. Additional awards are issued for every 10 kills after that. So that's a, a kind of a, a kill count uh, medal there. Another really nice skull taken from the the uh, XCOM explosion graphic and uh, embossed onto a, a medallion with kind of a, a star blending the colors in with the metal there. So that's that's cool. Uh, Klausvich is also a well-renowned military uh, strategy. Hmm. Uh, he was a Prussian general, I believe, and um, is well-renowned for his works on uh, strategy. Anyway, there you go, Merit Star. Invite you to sign up to join the force. You've been rocking the oldies with Ivan Dogovich. We'll see you again in episode 30 of Up Close and Personal. Cheers! <laughs>